we're talking. And you know, I look over my back. It's still there. I look at it again. It's, it's still, still there. there. The third, and nobody was over there. Still the third out. time, yeah. yeah. The third time I looked like we getting ready to leave, like we about to walk away. It happened in a matter of like five, five to seven minutes. I remember watching the videotape. And I looked and I was just like, purse walked away. Oh, purse got feet. The purse, my purse got feet. Hello, testing one, two, three. All right, Anishka. Hey. Hey, girl. How you feeling today? I'm feeling lovely. I'm you feeling, feeling great. well? You feeling yes. well? You ready? Yes, I'm ready. Listen, if it's any questions that I have and you don't like, you already know what to say, right? Next. Next. <laughs> but you're going to answer all the questions, right? Yes. Or you going to try to? I mean, if they're cute, yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, I think I have one or two ugly ones in here, Ooh, but gosh. I'll let you be the judge of that. So, listen, okay. I just want to start off by saying I am so happy that you took the time to be on the first episode of Kicking It With Key 101. Yes. Yes. So give yourself a round of applause. Yes, yes for the girl. black girl doing it Yes, big. black girls rock. I yes. had to start off with a black woman, a beautiful black yeah. woman, a successful black woman. Oh, thank so you. So, I said, listen, if we're going to do this... I got to bring Anishka, okay? Yes. So I just want to start by saying, how did you learn how to sing? Okay, because Ooh. the voice is giving tenure. It's giving, <laughs> you know, that you have had this voice for a while now. Mm -hmm. Well, in the beginning, I was like scared to sing because I didn't think I could. So I was like very shy. Mm -hmm. I didn't really like try to like sing in front of people. Really? Even though I, Like I think, at church? No, I was never in like the church choir. Okay, okay. I wish I was. I used to always say that, like, because then my ear or my my voice would have been different, or yeah. my runs would probably be a whole lot better. I yeah. always wanted that, but I never was in the church choir. Yeah. But it was just more so like listening to artists and uh -huh. hearing them sing, and then me trying it out, and then later on down the line, I end up like singing in front of my friend and was like, "What you think of my voice? Like, you think I could sing?" Yeah. And then he was like, "Yeah." do this da, 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 da. and so I just kind of like then I started to like step out oh and like my sing gosh. more Listen, with a voice like that, I would have thought that you was raised in a church. I would have thought like mm -hmm. he was like Tina Turner singing in the choir, getting kicked out of the choir because like you wanted to be the leader all the time. Oh, That's man. how beautiful your voice no, is. Sure. But what made you get to the point that you started to take it seriously from singing in front of your friend to mm -hmm. the point that you are now? Um... I think it was more so, like I said, like just having confidence. Like I didn't have that type of confidence. So like when he gave me that confirmation, it kind of was just like, okay, because I had sang in front of like, you know, relatives or people like, yeah. you know, we had a little family. I used to do it all the time. Like I used to put on a little show. Yes. Like in everybody my, sit down and yeah, be quiet. In front uh -huh. of my grandmas and me and my cousins, we would make a show and we would do our little set and then, you know, they would clap at the end. <laughs> yeah. But you know, that's family. But correct, once, correct. you know, somebody outside of my family had, you know, said what they said, I was just like, all right, cool. I'm gonna take it serious. Oh my God. So do you feel something like Beyonce, like you step into Sasha Fears? Cause you said that you <laughs> used to like kind of have a little confidence issue, but mm -hmm. then now you sang it in front of thousands of people. Mm -hmm. So like, is it like a different realm for you or is it just natural at this point? Um, it's more so like, Say, for example, you hear Beyonce, she say she turns into Sasha Fierce. Or, yeah. like, you hear words from, like, Whitney Houston when she's like, you know, you got to sing people underneath what the, the table or the house or the, yes. the or whatever. And it's just, like, you have to, like, transform. You get on stage. You can't be scared. Don't worry about what they're thinking about. You came here to perform. They came to see a show. That and is And just true. do your absolute best. And Matter you fact, always do more than that. <laughs> exactly. Over and beyond. Yes. So, listen. I know that you sing, mm -hmm. but I have listened to your album or your EP and baby, I hear rapping in there as well. Yes. So I said, I really don't know. You straddling the fence a little bit. So I mm -hmm. said, I have to ask you with your songs, get you home and good vagina. Mm -hmm. You know, the P word, <laughs> um, you know, you're doing a little rapping. So I said, you know, are, do you prefer to do the singing or mm -hmm. you prefer the rapping or it's like half and half? Um, I first came into it. I think, um, more so singing because singing came first. Yeah, and then later natural. on, I started to like rap just to give it a little edge. Yeah, and then you know you run into people that's like, oh, just do this or just do that, and I was just like, well, why can't I do both? You know, and so I just continued to like say to myself, like, I want to create my own lane. I knew artists that you know had sang and rap and were very successful, yes. and I had to kind of like bring that up, like in a conversation, like.
these are kind of like these. No, not say kind of like these are like my inspirations. Like they can it do really it. Is. I too. Yeah, it really is because we've seen Nicki Minaj do it. Mm-hmm. We've seen JT do it with I like to <laughs> be. Uh, you know, so yeah. I think integrating from singing to mm-hmm. rapping and rapping and singing really shows your versatility. So listen, I love it. Thank I you. I love it. I like it. And when I Thank say you. good P word, that had me, you know, going crazy in the house, all up and down the house. Yes. But listen, I wanted to change the subject a little bit because I have to test your blackness. Okay. Oh God. Because I know that you're a natural blonde. I know you're a natural okay, blonde. Yes. We know that. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I said, listen, being that she a natural blonde, I need to see how black she really is. <laughs> all right. So I got five questions. Mm-hmm. And after you answer these five questions, I'm going to determine whether or not we oh, have to take goodness. your black card. Okay. You I ready? Not. I feel like it's going to get snatched, but. All right. I'm oh, ready God. to go. So, um, Jody's girlfriend on Baby Boy, what is her name? Who? Jody's girlfriend on Baby Boy. You can't give me an A, B, and C. No, baby. I go blank when people ask me questions on the spot like this. Baby what Boy, is her name? and he stole her car. I stole my car, Jody. I know the actress is Taraji P. <laughs> her name at the time, I don't remember what her name was at I'll the time. I'll give you a half a point. I'll okay. give you a half a point since you know the actress. Miss Taraji P. That's in right here. Point five. Okay. Point five. So what kind of music does black parents play when it's time to clean up? Oh, <laughs> you got the. I'll give you point five because they're Earth, still not. Earth, wind, and fire. Okay. They're gonna play shit some Patty Labelle. Okay, okay. They're gonna play some. What they play some Luther? You get another point it's five. It's gonna be some old school music gonna get played. Okay. I, should I give her a point? <laughs> I think we should give her a full point. I was going for Christian music, but I'll oh, go for you the ain't point five. On the sun, or cleaning up. Well. It depends. We, I'll give you the point. You got a 1.5. You failing right now. I'm failing. So you, got, you got three more questions, okay? You ready? All right, cool. All right. So what does your mom say before you walk in the store? Don't touch nothing. Don't ask for nothing. Don't look for nothing. This is a trick question. <laughs> Shit. She She's said a whole... Black, y'all. She said don't... She, it say all three. All <laughs> three. You got it. <laughs> You got it. Like, all what? three. She gonna say all three depends what time of day. Wait, wait. Exactly, exactly. Might get beat up. Just stay still. <laughs> all right. Finish this sentence. You better find someone to play with because I'm not one of your little. I'm not one of your little friends. Hello. Correct. <laughs> okay, y'all. She listen. She might be a little. Don't play with you me. You might be me. You might be me. She gonna say don't play with me. I'm not one of your little friends. I'm not one of your little friends. Period. All right. And the last question mm-hmm. coming in and out the house will raise the light bill the cable bill or the light bill <laughs> oh, oh my gosh Come on. you said the this cable bill the light bill or the the water bill the cable bill or the light bill Going in and out the house, which one is it gonna raise? She might say cable or light bill, the pitch, cause you know your mama always mess no, up your name. No, pick she, one. she always mess up something when she's yelling. So I would say the light bill. Yeah, it is the light bill, but you almost got your points ripped off. Okay, so you get an eighty-five percent. I'm gonna determine whether or not you should keep your black card because you should have got a one hundred. I got an eighty-five percent. You got an eighty-five. But it depends, cause Sunday morning my mom is definitely blasting church music. Real, she gonna wake you up. You ain't even gonna. It's loud. Yeah. And if she feels some type of way no more, even if it's not Sunday, she gonna play it real loud, regardless. Yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> It depends. Listen, yes. okay, so I know that you're black, okay? Yes, okay. You got the 85%. You mm. you are above average, okay? okay so thank you, you Lord. get your pass. We're gonna stamp your card so everybody can know, okay? <sighs> but um listen, now this is a spicy one. Oh gosh. Don't pass this question, okay? Oh god. You ready? All right, so listen, I scrolled through your page. I had to do my research, all right? And all I see is music, 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 Anishka, Anishka, Anishka. So the people want to know. They want to be in your business. Um, Where's your boo? Are you single or are you taken? I'm single and ready to mingle, but then again. But then again what? You ready to mingle or you already mingling? (laughs) I'm single, ready to mingle. I'm mm-hmm. mingling a lot with music. I have been for a while. Oh, with music. Oh, what's so, your favorite rapper? Who's <laughs> <laughs> so she mingling with music? Cause you know who's I'm not talking my about favorite music. Favorite rapper. 
I don't know. Okay. I'll okay. let it marinate though. Okay. So you're single and ready to mingle with music? Yes. Okay. So with you being single and ready to mingle with music, yes. you are verified. You are a celebrity. You mm-hmm. are accomplished. I'm sure you rub elbows with a lot of men in the industry. Yes. You don't think that any of the men that you have been working around is able to be that music partner? No, not really. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> Okay, well, if you were taken, mm-hmm. would you post your significant other on your page? Probably not. Why not? Because <laughs> <laughs> that's my. I like to have my own business to okay. myself. You want to be private? Yeah, I be very much so private. People messy. So, do you believe that social media ruins relationships? Um, is it more of a privacy thing or more of a you don't want people following your man and going in his DM and, you know, creating that attention. That, that, that could be it, but not really. It could yeah. be a whole lot of different things. I mean, yeah. for some people, that could be it. But then sometimes, yeah, because you might have girls in there just want to say, oh, I just want to be a woman about this and yeah. then the third. It might be lying. It might be telling the truth. You really don't know, but it just caused mess. So That's true. That's true. I don't know. So you're not going to give us no answer. You're just going to leave me in a gray area? Because I feel like so. you're not answering me directly. Very much so gray. Fifty Shades. Oh. Okay, very much so great. All right. Okay, I can go with that. I can go with that. I can go with that. So listen, Mm -hmm. I am also a woman in the industry, Mm -hmm. okay? And there are times that I have been presented with opportunities, Mm -hmm. but on condition of dating the individuals, okay? So I know you left us in a gray area, but Mm -hmm. I am going to ask, are there times that you have been tried in the same fashion where... You know, there's an opportunity, but it does not, you cannot get this opportunity unless you are dating or seeing that individual. Several. Several. Do you think that's an advantage or a disadvantage for women? I think it's, I guess it really depends on the female. Okay. Because some women will probably think it's an advantage. Yeah. But then, you know, for me, it might be a disadvantage because then that person might think, okay, I'm going to hold you underneath my thumb and you got to do everything I say. And if you don't do what I say, then therefore I'm not going to give you what you want. And if that relationship goes sour, then what's going to happen after that? And I can say that because I've seen certain situations where certain people probably took that, I guess that quote unquote, they thought it was an opportunity and then they ain't go nowhere. So to each your song. (laughs) Correct. Correct. So I must say, have you ever um, took advantage of any situations what do you mean? Like with a person in regards to like the music? Yeah, in regards to the music. No, if I like you, I like you. If it's going to be genuine, it's going to be genuine. I'm not talking to you just because you hold a position. Because if I don't like you, you're going to know. After a while, it's going to... Uh, yeah, you're not wrong. You're I'm, not I wrong. I get eggy. You're not wrong. And to be honest, some of the people with blue checks are kind of lame, right? Yeah, I've had... <laughs> okay, I thought it was just me. I thought it was just me. I'm sorry, but it's like sometimes they take their accolades and their credentials and they think that that is enough to get your attention. Yes. So listen, I applaud you on that because I thought it was that's just me. So let's go ahead and give a round of applause for that because, you know, we have to set a standard for women in the industry because mm-hmm. it's easy to date your way up or sex your way up. Mm-hmm. But when you are about dignity and you have talent and you are business minded, it goes to show that you don't have to date your way up. Yep. You can actually talent your way up. Yes. So I love that. Mm-hmm. I love that. And I'm happy to know that I'm not the only one. So we sisters on that. <laughs> More power to you. Listen, I see that you are always booked. Okay. The mm-hmm. first time I met you, you mm-hmm. were performing in front of over a thousand people at a very large event in South Florida. Mm -hmm. And I've also seen you do a little bit more intimate crowds as well. Mm -hmm. So being your celebrity status, Mm -hmm. the things that you have accomplished, do you feel more comfortable with the larger crowds or the more intimate crowds? That's a good question. Yeah. Um, Oh, you have a love for both. I have a love for both. Um, the intimate crowds are cooler, I think, because then, like, people are able to kind of pretty much say hi and approach you. Yeah, You know what I'm saying? Yes. And then, you know, you get to connect, you get to network, you know what I'm saying? It's yes. a different type of energy versus if you're performing in front of thousands of people, you can't really talk to people. You kind of got to get out because there might be some weird people. <laughs> that is <laughs> like, true. Real strange. That is you true. You know what I'm saying? So, that is true. I think, yeah, I like both. You like but, both? Yeah. If you had to choose, which one would you pick? If I had to choose one, I'd pick. If they said you got to do 10 large shows or 10 small shows, which would you pick? That's kind of hard. I think I would like to do the large shows just yeah. because of the energy is different. Yeah. 
I think the intimate is intimate, but the energy I feel like is different when you're you're performing in front of a large crowd. Yes, it's it like, really is. And you know, you get to reach over a thousand people. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But at the same token, with the intimacy, like you said, they get to see the person behind the music. They get to touch you, feel mm-hmm. you, have a side conversation. Don't come take touch pictures. me now. But- oh well, not not <laughs> touch you, but. Don't come touch me touch, now. Definitely don't do no touching. Don't come touch because you, me. we just seen Cardi um, beat somebody up in the stands. Sorry, I'm, yeah, I'm but like, it got to be done because people forget that you are a real person. Mm-hmm. That you're not just a performer. That you yes. are an actual person, and people have to respect your boundaries. Respect so. your boundaries. Yeah, don't come touching. Yeah, don't come touching. Because I don't know My, they put her hair where they touched her cootie. I don't know what happened, yeah. but it looked like they touched her cootie. It's and, getting out of hand. So she had to use the mic. <laughs> Yes, yes. So listen, I know that you were at an intimate performance. I've mm-hmm. seen it on your story. Mm-hmm. And your purse was stolen. Girl. We need the details. <laughs> Tell us what happened. We need the details. I've seen some of the yeah. camera footage and all of that. But for the people that don't know, tell us what's going on with these intimate crowds. <sighs> so I got invited to an event. Okay. I'm keeping it as short as possible. I got invited to an event. Mm-hmm. Everything was going well. Going well. I had a good time. Mm-hmm. And then we were getting ready to leave. Yeah. When I was getting ready to leave, I you remember. Um, no, the, my purse was actually behind me because okay. I was like in the, I guess, the upper level section and, and then the, the VIP area. And my couch was behind me. The DJ booth was to my right. Okay. And I remember taking a picture with somebody who wanted to take a picture. Yeah. After that, I was just like, let me, you know, say bye to the DJ, you know, say what's up. So I, Literally, my purse was right there. I could see it. And yeah. I just walked over to the DJ, which was right in the, like, literally right there. Literally one second away. Yeah, where it's right like, there. okay, it's safe, it's secure. Yeah, so got up, speaking to the DJ. We're, we're talking. And, you know, I look over my bag. It's still there. I look at it again. It's, it's still, still there. there. The third, and nobody was over there. Purse still the hanging third out. Time, yeah, yeah. The third time I looked, like, we're getting ready to leave. Like, we're about to walk away. It happened in a matter of, like, five, five seven minutes. I remember watching the videotape. And I looked, and I was just like, Purse walked away. Oh, purse got feet. The purse, my purse got feet. And I was just like, hold the I press. Couldn't, I couldn't believe it because I was like, maybe one of these, you know, the way she's might have picked it up on accident. Like, whose bag is this? You Correct. know, I'm Correct. thinking maybe, you know, somebody like I didn't really want to feel like somebody stole it, but yeah. I was just like the inevitable of like. Man, somebody took your shit. <laughs> yes. And the thing of it is, when you're in those settings, when you, especially intimate setting, you kind of feel like you kind of know the people. You're a little comfortable with them. Mm-hmm. So it's like to know that someone steals your belongings. Yes. It's craziness. So listen, did you get the purse back and was anything stolen out of the purse? Everything was still inside my purse. Oh, wow. It's just that my purse was not where it was originally sitting. Oh, wow. Yeah. What was the person that did you get in contact with that person? We're going to leave that in the gray area. We're going to leave that in the gray box. Said, we'll talk about I, it offline. She said, did I get in contact did with the person? Did you get in contact with the person? We'll link up with her after the interview, right? She, uh, You know what? I'm going to let it let it marinate the way it was. Okay. I'm happy that I got my purse. Yeah. I'm upset that it had to get to that level. Yeah. But I'm grateful that I got my purse and my belongings. Because yes. at the end of the day, it's like, you're a woman. And when you have your purse and all your stuff is in it and it's missing. And yes. your car keys, your wallet, everything's your in life. it. In your purse, girl. Yes. And it's gone. It's just like. Yeah, like, what are we really, really doing here? Yeah, what are we doing? <laughs> it was a moment. Exactly. Listen, I seen it. I say, oh, my God. Anishka is about to go to jail. <laughs> She's about Why to go to jail. I, I rebuke it. Because, because you know what? For me, it's like if somebody steal my stuff, mm-hmm. I'm probably going to be on the shade room. <laughs> That's how I'm feeling. Because it's like, why are you touching my belongings? I need answers. And yeah. I need them quickly because I'm going to be very upset. But I'm yes, happy that I'm you handled it with right. poise. Yes, you handled it with poise as you should. As Anishka should. Very much so poised. Yes, so round of applause for that. Yes. For the poise. For the tact. And not going to jail and being on the shade Thank room. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> yes. So, listen, I must say, mm-hmm. I love you. I love your voice. I love your music. I love your hair. Listen, oh, you found the you. signature hair. You feel me? <sighs> it is hard for people to find their signature hair. I Every other week, I'm changing my hair color. Yes. But this color is beautiful on you, okay? Not only do you have good hair and good music, but... You were talking about good vagina. Yes. Okay. So, um, you know, there's always a debate on what good vagina is mm-hmm. between the men and the women. So, I want to know, what is good vagina? Because I need to know if I have one. You know what? Boss Lady King, I think. <laughs> I don't even think. I know you got good pee. 
<laughs> you think so? Yes, I know you got good pee. I'm giving good pee aura energy. You're giving good pee aura energy in the way you move, the way you talk, um, the way that you um, put things together and do it boss like. You know, good girls with good pee or women with good pee are you know bosses. They're, they're entrepreneurs. They take care of their kids. Correct. Um, you know, they getting it in every day. You know, they're hustling Correct. and their mindset is on a different level. You know, they got their own money. Correct. You know what I'm saying? You know, they could take your money. You know, whoever's the dude's money. But yeah, we're definitely gonna do that first. We're gonna take their money, but we got our own shit. Like yes. legit. Like it's it's on a whole nother level. You know, a boss. Can I say all this? A boss yes, bitch. You can period. say that. You can say all that. You can say a, all a that. A boss bitch that got her shit together. You That's can, a girl with good pee. Okay, well let okay. me write this down because yes. I think I I think I meet the um yes. the standards. We're advancing. Can you We're give me my certificate up. when we done? Yes. Cause I wanna like show my boyfriends when I leave. Yes. So they can know. I'm yes. certified now. Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> so listen, I must say, um, you're always booked. You're always working. Every time I see you, it looks like you're constantly elevating. Mm. Um I would like to know what advice do you have for the young women out there, especially in Miami, especially mm -hmm. black women that is looking to probably give up, feel like it's the end of the rope. Like what is your ingredients to success or what are the steps that you would give them to follow to mm -hmm. reach where you are now? Um, I would definitely say don't worry about what everybody else got to say or what they're doing. If you have a dream in your heart and there's something that you want to pursue, live your dreams. Yes. At the end of the day, I don't care if you black, yellow, brown, big, small, old, young, live your dreams. Live your dreams. Live them to the fullest extent and don't worry about what nobody got to say as long as you're happy. That's that's all that really matters. And keep going because you're going to have trials and tribulations. Yeah. But that's going to make you stronger and better and wiser and you're going to grow. Yeah, because I was going to say, you know, we always tell people to follow their dreams. But sometimes it's a lot of challenges, yeah. bumps in the road. Um, sometimes... You know, people may go viral mm -hmm. and they haven't even put as much work in as you. So mm -hmm. you may feel like some certain things are pointless or mm -hmm. you want to give up yes. or you may not have enough money for the studio, this and that. Mm -hmm. So I think that is very touching for the women out there because yes. it can be difficult, especially like we said earlier, men mm -hmm. are presenting, yes. you know, <laughs> dating your way up <laughs> instead of actually taking women yes. for their talent. So listen, I love you. I am so happy you, you came too. out today. Do you mind giving us a little spin a rule? Because I'm loving the fit. Okay. I'm loving the shoes. I'm loving the accessories, like ring on every finger. Like, give the girls, give it to the girls. I'm loving it. Yes, Anishka. I love you. I love you. Is there anything that you want to say to your fans out there today um, before we close? First, I want to say thank you. I love you, too. Thank I see you doing your thing. I'm trying, girl. Keep going. I'm trying. Yes, salute. Um, but everybody out there, you know, thank you for your support, your continued support. Um, more things to come. Like I said, live your dreams and don't give up. God is with you everywhere you go because he's with me, so I know. Yes. But, yeah, keep y'all head up and keep, you know, doing your thing. And I love y'all. Yes. And while y'all head is up, go ahead and stream her new single, Good P Word. Okay, listen yes. to the lyrics. Do it while you cleaning up. Don't play the gospel. Don't play the Al Green like we was talking about. You want to go ahead and play Anishka and get those Good P vibes all in your household. Yes, right? Good P energy. All right. I love you. I love you. I love you. We signing off for today. Yes. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. We got more to come on Kicking It With Key 101.